I once again welcome you all in the session on the nutraceuticals. In the today's session, we are going to discuss herbs as health food. I once again welcome you all on the session on the nutraceuticals. So in the today's session, we are going to discuss the ginger. So let us move towards the ginger. All of you are aware about the ginger. In everyday life, our food comprises the ginger. It is being used as a condiment. It is being used as a spices in the food. And it is having the health benefits. There are so many kinds of the dosage forms or the products are available in the market for the ginger. And it is having the health benefits in the management of the certain diseases. In the case of ginger, we are using the rhizome part, either in a wet form or the dried form. Wet form or the dried form, isn't it? So let us see the ginger. So ginger is a plant native to Asia and the spices come from the roots of plants that is uh, being said uh, to be rhizomes and it is used as a food flavoring and in the medicine to manage, to treat, to prevent the sudden diseases. So biological source of ginger, so ginger is being obtained from the rhizomes of Zinziber officinale belongs to family Zinziberas. So ginger, it is obtained from the rhizomes of Zinziber officinale belonging to family Zinziberas. Synonym, so it is said to be the Adrak or Syngabera. So these are the synonyms of the ginger. Look at the slide and see the image related with the ginger rice. Let us move towards the chemical constituents which are present in the ginger. Mainly, the ginger comprises the gingerol, sugarol, gingiberine, starch, and gingiberol. So these are the major chemical constituents of the gingiver officinale, that is the ginger. Furthermore, it consists of the volatile components as well as the non-volatile components. So both the types of the chemical constituents are present in the ginger, that is the volatile components as well as the non-volatile components. So volatile components, that is the volatile oil, it is a mixture of 24 constituents. Almost 24 constituents are present in the volatile oil of the ginger. Mainly monoterpene like uh, philandrin, then cineol, citral, then borneol and borneol. Furthermore, the volatile com oil comprises the sesquiterpenes like uh, zinziberine. So mainly the volatile oil comprises the monoterpene and the sesquiterpene. So monoterpene comprises the philandrine, cineol, citral, and the borneol. And sesquiterpene comprises the zinziberine. So zinziberol is the main aromatic principle of the ginger. So whatever aroma we are getting, it is due to the zinziberol. Furthermore, the volatile oil comprises the alpha-pinin, then the camphene, linalol, borneol, geraniol, and the geraniol. So these are the some of the volatile oils present in the ginger. The main pungent non-volatile principle of ginger is the gingerol. It is a phenolic compound. And it gets converted into the sugar. So the non-volatile pungent component which is present in the ginger that is known as the gingerol and it is the phenolic compound. When subjected to heat or alkali treatment, the gingerol converted into the sugarol. The sugarols are more pungent than the gingerol. So whatever the sugarol is there, it is a more pungent than that of the gingerol. 
So it is possible to convert the gingerol into the sugarol by heat treatment or by the alkali treatment. So the pungency of the dry ginger it is mainly due to the sugar oils. So whatever the pungency we are getting for the dry ginger, it is due to the sugar oil. Furthermore, the fresh ginger contains the proteins, fats, minerals, fibers, <coughs> carbohydrates, starch, mucilage, one to two percent of volatile oil, and five to eight percent of resinous matter. So these are the some of the chemical constituents of the ginger. Okay, let us move towards the health benefits of the ginger. So moving towards the health benefits, as now we are aware about the chemical constituents which are present in the ginger, isn't it? There are so many uh, things which are present in the ginger. Volatile principles are there. Then carbohydrates are present, starch uh, it is present, protein is present, fat is present, present, and the main component that is the gingerol, uh, which is present in the ginger. So by considering all these uh, phyto constituents which are present in the ginger, it is being having the health benefits in the management of the sudden diseases. So moving towards the health benefits of the ginger, very first benefit. As ginger it is having a high in the gingerol, a substance with a powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. So maybe the ginger it could be used in the management of the inflammatory diseases as well as it is being used as an antioxidant to manage the oxidative stress which is being exerted by the certain diseases, disorders, or certain condition. So it is possible to use the ginger as an anti-inflammatory or the antioxidant due to presence of the ginger oil. The second health benefit of ginger, so ginger can help to prevent various types of nausea. It is a major role or major health benefit of ginger. So it is going to manage the nausea including the chemotherapy related nausea nausea after surgery and morning sickness. So whatever the nausea related problems are there, it is being managed with the help of the ginger. So this is the second health benefit of the ginger. Furthermore, the ginger may be helpful to reduce the weight, which is having the weight, it is being correlated with the certain chronic diseases. So if we could manage the weight, again, the certain diseases are going to be prevented and ginger can be used to reduce the weight. Furthermore, the ginger may be helpful in the management of the certain symptoms related with the osteoarthritis, more specifically osteoarthritis of the knee. So ginger can be used to reduce the symptoms of osteoarthritis, more specifically related with the osteoarthritis of the knee. Then furthermore, it is being used in the, in the diabetes to manage the sugar level as it is having the ability to lower the blood sugar levels. Also, it is going to manage the risk factors associated with the heart diseases. The ginger appears to speed up emptying of the stomach, which can be beneficial for people with the indigestion and related stomach discomfort. So ginger can be used in the indigestion as well as the stomach discomfort. Furthermore, the ginger appears to be very effective against menstrual pain when taken at the beginning of the menstrual period. If you can see, after menstruation, there might be chances of abdominal pain, isn't it? And uh, if we are consuming these small quantities of the ginger, that could be helpful in the management of the menstrual pain. Then ginger can be used in the management of certain cardiovascular diseases as it is going to reduce the bad cholesterol, total cholesterol, and 
blood triglyceride level furthermore ginger oil shows a protective effect against the cancer so it, it is having certain role in the management of the cancer also furthermore it is going to be used in the alzheimer diseases that is being related with the age related damage to the brain then it may be helpful in a fight against harmful bacteria and uh, viruses so risk of infection it is going to be reduced if we are consuming the ginger regularly that may be helpful to manage the harmful bacteria as well as viruses and the risk of infection it is going to be reduced in short the ginger it is going to be used to boost digestion it controls nausea reduces the arthritis increases blood flow prevent cancer and decreases the cholesterol so these are the some of the health benefits of the ginger let us move towards the dosage of the ginger normally we are using the doses of 0.5 to 3 grams by mouth daily for up to 12 days so 0.5 to 3 grams by mouth daily it is being used for the 12 weeks so this is a normal dose which is being considered for the ginger in the case of migraine we are using 500 mg oral route every 4 hours for the migraine then for nausea 1 to 4 g per day and for motion sickness 1 g taken by mouth 30 minutes to 4 hours before travel so it suggests that the ginger could be used to manage the migraine related symptoms it could be used to manage the nausea it could be used to manage the motion sickness as a medicine the ginger is available in a many forms including the teas syrups capsules liquid extract it is also available in a topical gels ointments and aromatherapy essential oil so these are the doses related guidelines with the ginger let us move towards the precautions side effects and drug interactions related with the ginger so let us see first side effects of ginger so ginger it is a relatively safe but can produce mild side effects such as a heartburn diarrhea skin rash and stomach discomfort as it promotes the gastric enzyme isn't it precautions so ginger should be administered cautiously in a patient taking anti hypertensive anti diabetic and anti coagulant drug that could alter the effect of these drug so it should be precautionally or cautiously given to the patient who is, who is on a therapy of anti hypertensive anti diabetic or the anti coagulant drug so these are the precautions let us see the drug interactions related to the ginger so very first drug interaction it is related with the anticoagulant and antiplatelet drug anticoagulant for example warfarin antiplatelet for example aspirin it may get interacted with the ginger so when we are taking a ginger along with the anticoagulants and the antiplatelet drug which slows the blood clotting and that might increase the risk of bruising and the bleeding as warfarin it is going to it is warfarin it is going to act as an anticoagulant right ginger might have the anticoagulant effect and the blood becomes a thin and that may leads to the bruising or the bleeding the same is the case with the antiplatelet drug right so the some of the drugs which are going to be interacted with the ginger like a uh, fenpro common warfarin and uh, nifedipine so one should avoid this combination right then taking a ginger along with a losartan might increase the effects and side effects of losartan due to increased absorption so here the ginger phytoconstituent they are going to promote 
the absorption of the losartan so the pharmacological effects of the losartan it is going to be increased along with there might be chances of precipitation of certain side effects of the losartan absorption of the some of the other drugs are also going to be increased by the ginger like uh, metronidazole and uh, cyclosporine so their pharmacological effects are going to be increased as well as the side effects of these drugs are going to be increased so this is a drug interaction related with the increase in absorption of a drug by the ginger so pharmacological effect of a drug it is going to be increased and furthermore there might be chances of the increase in certain side effects of these drugs the third interaction that is related with the anti diabetic drug as you know that the ginger it is going to reduce the blood sugar level anti diabetic drug they are also going to reduce the blood sugar level so when we are combining again i am going to repeat the drug interaction so when we are combining the ginger with the anti diabetic drug that may leads to the reduction in the blood sugar level right and that may leads to the hypoglycemic crisis so one should monitor the blood sugar level so this is a drug interaction related with the ginger and anti diabetic drug then the next drug interaction which is related with the anti hypertensive drug as the ginger it is going to reduce the blood pressure so when we are combining the ginger along with the anti hypertensive drug might cause blood pressure to go too low so that may leads to the hypotensive crisis so the blood pressure it is going to be reduced isn't it so when we are combining the ginger along with the anti hypertensive drug as you know that the ginger it is going to reduce the blood pressure hypotensive drug they are going to reduce the anti hypertensive drug they are going to reduce the blood pressure so when we are combining the ginger along with the anti hypertensive drug that may leads to the hypotensive crisis and the death of the person so one should not combine the ginger with the anti hypertensive so what we got the knowledge from uh, the drug interaction as it should not be ginger should not be combined with the antiplatelet and anticoagulant drug that may lead to the bleeding right the second drug interaction that is related with the efficacy of certain drug it is going to be increased due to increase in absorption of a drug by ginger so it is a kind of beneficial or sometimes it is a non beneficial if the side effects are going to be precipitated the ginger is having a ability to reduce the blood sugar level so it should not be combined with the anti diabetic drug Furthermore, the ginger should not be combined with the anti-hypertensive drugs because of the ginger. It is going to reduce the blood pressure. So these are the major drug interactions related with the ginger. Hope all of you have understood the ginger. So in this, we have discussed the biological source of ginger. synonym of ginger chemical constituents of ginger health benefits of ginger then the dosage side effects precautions and the drug interactions related with the ginger so that's it about the ginger 